Welcome back to another episode of Trying Fast Food Shit so you don't have to. Today I'm in Buffalo, New York at HCK Hot Chicken. Just got back in the car. I got the number one, which is a chicken sandwich, french fries, and a drink, which I forgot in there. I'm gonna have to go back in. I also got a side of macaroni and cheese deals. Pops up one take. You know the deal. See what we're working with here. This mac and cheese looks wild, dude. Is that white cheddar mac and cheese with a little bit of regular shreddy cheese on top? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna try it. We'll open this box. This is loaded. This thing is heavy, brother. Look at this. The smells coming off this thing. It smells, you smell the spice. It smells insane. Let's try one of these fries. Look how crispy they look, dude. Seasoned up. That crunch is immaculate, dude. The spices on there are great. Almost tastes like a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of sugar, maybe a little bit of cayenne, if you will. And they're damn good. Oh, they got sauce too. This is almost like a, seems almost like a Dave's Hot Chicken type of place. H-C-K. One location here in Buffalo. They got like eight locations total. I could not believe they have one in Buffalo. Look at the sauce, man. Mmm. Mayo based. No doubt. Got some spices in there. Definitely salt, cayenne, pepper. It's great. The sauce is awesome, man. The fries overall with the sauce, I gotta go 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's good, dude. This right here is a chicken sando and it looks wild, dude. If you know what Dave's Hot Chicken is, Dave's does a dry rub action and this right here, this gets dipped in their sauce, man. You got a little bit of cold slaw on top. You have a nice little, looks like a potato bun. It's very boop, boopable. Here we go. Got some pickle action. This looks great. Mmm. What is that? What is that sweetness in there? There's some sweetness in that sauce, man. This is definitely not like insanely hot. There's four different levels of spice here. I got level number two. I probably could have gone three to be honest. I'll take one more bite and then we'll give it a rating. Mmm. The only thing I don't like about this sandwich, and I don't know why, is the coleslaw. Usually I love coleslaw on a sandwich, but for some reason, there's just not enough. Maybe I need some pepper, maybe some cayenne up in that coleslaw, dude. Um, the chicken's great. It's crunchy on the outside. It's juicy on the inside. The pickles are awesome. The bun is awesome. But like I said, the coleslaw almost tastes like there's, it's just like too much mayo going on, if you know what I mean. The sandwich is good though. Let's try out the mac and cheese up next here. The sandwich overall, I gotta go, I gotta go 8.3. 8.3 out of 10. Finally, let's try the mac and cheese. I don't have a fork. I forgot to grab a fork. I'm an idiot. I know I'm in my fiance's car and there's shit going everywhere. I'm, ba I'm in the doghouse, dude. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight if I'm lucky. That sounded gross, but it's fucking awesome. This is some good mac and cheese. Definitely some white cheddar in this bitch. Got some regular shredded, it looks like cheddar on top. It's creaming, I'm creaming. This is some good mac and cheese. I gotta go 9.2 out of 10.